Tonight, the race for the White House runs through an unusual stop for the Democratic nominee, actually the birthplace of the Republican Party. That's Ripon, Wisconsin, where Vice President Kamala Harris appeared with former Congresswoman Liz Cheney. Remember, Cheney is a lifetime Republican and former member of the January 6th committee. At the same time, there was a campaign surprise from former First Lady Melania Trump signaling her support for abortion rights in spite of her husband boasting many times he proudly overturned Roe versus Wade. We'll get more now from CBS's Nancy Cordes. A big moment in tiny Ripon, Wisconsin. Former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney, the daughter of a former vice president, making her first appearance with the Democratic nominee. But I will be voting for Kamala Harris. Cheney first announced her support last month, but she's been a critic of former President Donald Trump for years and was vice chair of the January 6th committee, which examined Trump's role in the Capitol insurrection. He is unfit for any office. The Harris campaign has been working to highlight the growing list of Republicans who now oppose Trump. I cannot in good conscience endorse Donald Trump this year. Those defections rattled Stephen Michek, a former Wisconsin sheriff who is switching to Harris after voting for Trump in 2016. All of the changes in administrative staff, just constant uh, turnover of people, uh, the uh, just... Uh, unusual things of having all of your children employed in the White House was, I, I, I would not do that in a sheriff's office. In a court filing released yesterday, special counsel Jack Smith alleged that Trump ignored threats to his VP's life during the Capitol riot, allegedly telling an aide, so what? We won. We won. We did win. It was a rigged election. In Saginaw, Michigan today, Trump repeated his false claims about 2020 and warned of an apocalypse if Harris wins next month. Instead of a golden age, America will instead be plunged into a dark age. Your family finances will be permanently destroyed. He did not address the new comments from his wife, Melania, who unexpectedly came out in favor of abortion rights in a video promoting her upcoming book. There is no room for compromise when it comes to this essential right. In an interview